Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do a late night tea and dig in and see what's going on for you beautiful guys. Now, I want to say thank you to all the people who like, take the time to view my readings and subscribe. You guys are the shit. So cheers to you guys and let's get going into this reading. So let's clear off the energies and let's see what's going on for this late night read, okay? Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light, I call you Zin and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective. What do they need to know? What's the underlying issue internally, externally? Let's get some guidance, some clear perspective and some clarification to things that we already know internally, okay? So it's time to use your intuition, guys. We're very gifted. It's time to be tapped in. So let's tap in, all right? Put yourself where you belong. The roles can be reversed. I could be saying he, it could be a she, I could be saying they, it could be you. So use your discernment, guys. Let's go. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Now I'm using um, Steampunk Tarot. So the two of swords someone is at a crossroads they're choosing to not see something this could be you this could be somebody around you this could be somebody playing in your energy it's at the bottom of the deck so you're not seeing something or you're choosing to not see something now the wheel of fortune is here guys you have good karma in your favor you have some kind of cycle coming in it's the sun in reverse there's some kind of depression Maybe you're not seeing something. Like I said, that two of swords. You're not seeing something. You're not seeing that there's a heartbreak that you're healing from with the three of swords in reverse. You have healed from something. You you overcame something. But there's some kind of depression here. Some is, You're not seeing something. It's the ace of wands. You're not seeing a brand new passionate beginning of an opportunity to start something new, something tangible, something strong. Sungoi Dizu, God, Creator, whomever you believe in, is giving you an opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune, but somebody is very much up in their head with the Ace of Swords. It's like a mental entrapment, a prison of the mind, or an actual prison with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is very manipulative, somebody who lies, and this is who's in the dark, who's feeling like depressed, male, female, it's irrelevant, because somebody is getting a good cycle, the magician, somebody has all the tools in their toolbox to get themselves out of whatever situation that they're in. I feel like somebody is in jail or somebody is really in a purgatory of the mind and they're not seeing that this heartbreak can be healed with a brand new passionate beginning. I don't know. Somebody is here very narcissistic. They're telling a lie and they're trying to use magic. I'm not going to lie to cause you to have more heartbreak, but they're not seeing something. They're not seeing that you got a page of wands, which is a brand new beginning, guys. You got the page of wands with the ace of wands, all right? So it's like you're taking a new leap of faith. Like you have a lot of drive. You have a lot of inspiration. You love what you do. I love what I do. That's why it's not even really work, you know? And I love to help people open up, you know, a, a different perspective of things. This is why I do it. And to show people you can get it out the mud. You know, you can, you can really fight for what is right the six of pentacles and get your reciprocity somebody is and that's got somebody in their mental entrapment not realizing that the reciprocity comes internally so they can always get out of the nonsense that they're in but they have to take care of themselves they have to take the time to recuperate you know that's why i don't got no makeup on right now i am who i am it is what it is i think i even got like a a thing in my hair to hold like whatever guys i don't even care i came on here just to show you so we can like wear we can just be us, guys. Now, somebody is uh, not okay with this. It's the devil. <laughs> with the, ju injust the justice in reverse, yo. 
Wait, wait. There's some kind of codependent energies, toxic energies, wanting to make you feel like you're not good enough, but you are. Just the way you are. Probably on your worst day, you're the shit. So it is what it is. Somebody tried to cause you a lot of injustice, put magic on you, and now they're stuck in the sun in reverse. And this is what they wanted for you, but your love, your light. You're not seeing something, and what you're not seeing is that you've already healed from this. You are the real magician, and you see the injustice, so somebody is being caught in the red tape because there's a brand new beginning. Because some great is what God creator is giving you this, you know, big energy. The king of pentacles in reverse. Now, somebody is very much materialistic, and they caught some kind of injustice because they wanted you to give but they weren't willing to give back. They seen that the ancestors were giving you something and now they're very much up in their head. This could be male, this could be female. Put yourself where you belong. This could be you. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. But you're getting a passion in the beginning. This king of pentacles is greedy and wants something from you. They're trying to get you to be codependent on them, to be lower than them because of this queen of wands energy. But you have a king of cups here so you have somebody who has a lot of passion for you but there's some kind of queen of wands energy that's keeping somebody very much binded in some kind of relationship partnership the temperance angel in reverse i y'all somebody is very codependent Ooh, lots of ooh, oh wow Well then, um, they're very binded in a situation with this very promiscuous person. Somebody keeps luring them in with sex, with drugs, with alcohol, with whatever this is. I don't know what this is because it's the five of pentacles. Whatever it is, it's got somebody out very much out in the cold from something that they really wanted. They're very much up in their head. They're trying to bring in reciprocity but they're got no financial stability because of now the legalities the queen, king of swords okay there's somebody male female that's really studying something how somebody oh my god i think you have somebody watching you now it looks to me like there's some kind of investigator watching somebody's downfall and they're bringing whatever injustice that was happening to light because somebody has healed this and somebody will not stop this manipulation, this magic. Now, this could be in the 3D and the 5D realm. Always take it as it resonates, guys. Past, present, future. Time is linear and so is healing. But there is some kind of queen of pen, uh, wands in reverse that is causing some kind of magic but not realizing that you are the magician. And it's keeping them out in the cold. They're playing some kind of cycle because you have the wheel in your favor. You're not seeing what's going on because you've already healed from this. And you're getting a new beginning. But that new beginning has somebody trapped. They're going to jail for what they did with this queen of swords, this narcissistic energy, this lying and this magic. Now somebody is getting a brand new opportunity, a message about some kind of passion to give reciprocity, but they're stuck in this codependent, toxic energy of co sex, drugs, rock and roll, oh my god. And there was a lot of injustice here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting caught for this, and it put them in some kind of poverty mindset or some kind of lack because of this promiscuous, devil, codependent woman. Or male, take it as it resonates, but they use their body to get them things they put magic, it's like um, they put this um, veil on people to make them like, what is it? It's like a cloak, you know, they cloak their energy. So they people think that they're pretty, but really they're not. And, and then one day you wake up and then holy fuck. And this is what this, this uh, person of legality <clears throat> is studying, that somebody is very imbalanced. And has caused somebody a lot of injustice. But you, as the collective, I feel don't see what's going on because you're not paying attention. You mind your motherfucking business. This is not your business. This is somebody else's business. Somebody's 
very much left out in the cold because of the options, the illusions. That's what the devil does. That's where, why this five is right over the devil accidentally. Somebody is studying about these options that has got them took an advantage of somebody you know seen somebody was naive that two of swords they were naive they were young they had a good heart so they went towards this person knowing that they can take advantage of them through sex through uh some kind of childhood issue that wasn't addressed they manipulated them with this devil magician and caused a lot of injustice and caused somebody to be very much in balance you as the collective don't see this because you you got the brand new beginnings and the wheel of fortune and you don't see this that somebody is depressed because of the traumas that they went through at the heart of the deck because you've let go of the burdens with the ten of wands and now you're showing others that they too can it's just about really putting the past behind you and manifesting a beautiful life which is you know equilibrium knowing we all go through this shit one way or another but we have to be careful of the company we keep because the energy that's around us is exactly what we're going to be around because you have the high priestess here in the upright and the two of wands. It's about choices, guys. Somebody is the magician high priestess and it's right in between this queen of wands in reverse. Now the queen of wands in reverse is the dark magician, okay? Now you have a magician and the high priestess right between it. So somebody tried to do manipulation magics you know even chaos magic some kind of something to cause a disruption in somebody who is extremely balanced and extremely wise extremely powerful life and what it did was it caused them a disruption and a lot of chaos now somebody is feeling neglected out of this high priestess's life because this high priestess knows you may be a tarot card reader such as myself or you're just very intuitive you understand the light between the dark and you're going towards things with logic you have the world in your hands and when i say you have the world in your hands it's a big motherfucking statement 1222 on my clock guys it's about new beginnings being stable and understanding that you're an earth angel okay and you can do this but it's a single journey sometimes the more people you have in your environment, the more you're going to get taken advantage of. And the more traumas and tribulations you go through, the more you acknowledge this lesson, okay? So we're all on different timelines. We're all on different journeys. So if we meet up with each other, we acknowledge and we push each other forward in the best light. Because it's about being the balanced one, yo. Because there's a lot of imbalance here. And you're very protected by the ancestors. This is why you don't see this because you're an empath and you know you're gonna feel some kind of way. So they're um, eliminating you from the nonsense. Okay, it's really time for you to just um, <sighs> pick the right choices. Okay, because somebody is very confused right now in this crossroads energy with that two of wands. Like I said, you got the world in your hands. You know exactly what you need to do and you know there's no wrong choice we just have to you know are you gonna learn the easy way or the hard way that's it that's all you know at the bottom of the deck it's the strength we all have the strength to persevere this inner demon to tame this lion internally and become the lamb however you have to understand that what you put out you get back inevitably the ethers it's about energy it's about frequency guys it doesn't matter who you believe in what you believe in it's about the cosmos the the energy frequency that we all hold so it's about your thoughts it's about your mind it's about your your feelings and emotions and, and how you're moving forward because the tower is here and the tower is life-changing events, inevitable catastrophes that we can't avoid. But you're getting out of this with the Nine of Wands, uh, Swords in reverse. You don't dwell, you sleep very good, and you're moving towards what is best for you because you have that two wands. You're at the crossroads. Everybody is, guys, right now. And this is why we need to use your, our intuition and to figure out where the story lies for us and to find out what our real intuition is trying to tell us you know pay attention to our dreams you know signs and synchronicities because you have a two of cups which means equilibrium within self remember it's always about soul ascension 
always about self. You're gonna get some kind of partnership, okay? And you're moving towards self. You have a king of cups here, somebody who has a lot of love for you, and they know you're not dwelling on something. They're moving towards you very fast to bring you some kind of equilibrium because there's some kind of incompletion, okay? With the queen of cups. Wow. Okay, so you have the king of cups, the queen of cups, two of cups, nine of swords, chariot, tower. Boom. But in this deck the tower is quite beautiful so think of it as re-renovating <laughs> you know you're going towards what is best for you you have that two of wands and you have choices all right so be careful of these seven of cups okay remember that there is only one cup the self-love cup each of these people only have one cup and together makes two cups Divine partnership, guys. Somebody is moving forward, balanced, masculine and feminine, towards what they want. Why? Because the world. They have the world in their hands. It's about choice. It's about being single, self-sufficient, independent, glowing, and growing. <laughs> That's what it's about, guys, and inspiring others to do exactly that same thing, okay? Show me more spirit guides. What else do you want to say? Thank you. So that two of swords comes back out. So it's the crossroads, right? Do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? We get to see what we need to see, guys. Remember, it's about mental health. Stop being so nosy. <laughs> because it's about the four of wands. But it's in reverse. It's looking sloppy. Let's see where it landed this time. Okay. So, it's in reverse. So, there's a lot of imbalances. It is what it is, guys. Somebody's home is foundation is a little rocky you know and this is why you're not um seeing it somebody was delusional somebody was immature and they went towards something that wasn't stable at all Shit. three of coins in reverse they chose not to work at mind body and spirit on themselves remember it's not an external thing it's always an internal thing guys knight of wands because of the player somebody is the player and they like this this they were very immature very immature very immature and they uh went towards somebody who was just as motherfucking immature you know they manifested this and you you have beautiful things you're not seeing this you have the wheel you have the world you have beautiful things but there's two stories inside this one guys you have the cup of love. There's judgment here. Somebody's falling from grace. It's this king of wands in reverse. Fuck. Because they have a ten of cups in reverse and the page of swords. This king of wands that went towards this Jezebel manifested exactly what them. Why? Because they lied. And now uh, they went towards some kind of broken family because of this naive thing. They're Get, they're getting major judgment and they're falling from grace you have a cup of love and you're going towards some kind of balanced relationship or you're balanced internally masculine and feminine because you know what to invest in with that seven of pentacles and somebody is just a fucking player yo and that's why you put to death this it's done and you're getting brand new opportunity I don't know why this motherfucker keeps coming out, but it's only because they're spying. They're in my fucking energy. They're in your energy. That's why they keep coming out in the readings. That's why it's two readings in one. Because they see you're getting a brand new beginning. Page of Pentacles, getting it out the mud. And you're moving towards something brand new. And you are guided. <laughs> so they're in your fucking energy. Because they want to come in all passionately and shit. But you, they can't because you're either already in a new relationship they fucked with your family or, you know, they went towards some toxic ass family and you have a lot of love and it's not for this playa. <laughs> it's for a two of cups. Equilibrium, balance. And this, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing your balance or knowing that this is inevitably going to come in no matter what ha has happened throughout your past, you're not, you don't, 
you sleep well, you take care of yourself. I started a new skin regimen, so my face is nice and shiny. It feels nice, you know, so it's nice to take care of yourself, guys. You're not in a mental entrapment, you're moving forward. You have the world in your hands. Remember, it's about choices. It's time to dismantle anything and everything that no longer serves you, okay? Because it's time to go of legality, start studying things, asking questions and illuminating because somebody's going to jail. Or that looks like somebody's going to jail. You're the high priestess, you know it's up. And it's all because somebody has uh, caused so much illusion. They thought they had a lot of options. They really invested in all these options and it caused them to be left out in the cold because uh, they're uh, very imbalanced and they're overindulging with the queen of wands. Match made in hell. <laughs> and that's caused them to have financial dis disappointment because there's no reciprocity there's clearly imbalance when it comes to relationships there's no celebrations and that's because of the injustice because of the devil like energies somebody is getting a brand new message about who really is the magician and it's causing somebody to be pissed the fuck off they're lying they're spying they're manipulating they're stuck in their head they're going to fucking jail um spiritual poverty it's like Somebody's in purgatory because of what they did and because somebody is getting a brand new beginning from the ancestors. Big dick energy. If this isn't what you're looking for, it's just a new opportunity, okay? A brand new one, a big one. <laughs> because you, you, you're you good. You healed your heart. You're enlightening. And, you know, you're kind of being a little bit naive too and pretending like you don't see this. But you see. You may not see that there's a wheel coming in because you heal. A beautiful wheel. The wheel is in your fortune because you got the two of the two of cups. You're balanced. Masculine and feminine. Light and dark. As above, so below, baby. It is what it is. It's beautiful. That's why the wheel is there. Let's put the wheel here. And let's get some information going. Oh, all right. So 22 minutes in, let's get some tea. Mm -hmm. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. Let's get some juice. What's going on for this reading? One more time. Thank you guys for uh, all your beautiful views. I love you and I love what I do. You know, I may not like what comes out all the time, but I know that it's really beneficial for somebody. And when I get asked to sit down by source, I sit down and I help you guys because I know that it is beneficial. Somebody has got STDs. Now, spiritual transmitted diseases, sexually transmitted diseases, or <sighs> spiritually transmitted demons. All right? Now... This is because of that queen of wands, king of wands. You know, it's very promiscuous and the more ener the more sexual energy you give out, then the less you're going to have financially. This is why that king of pentacles is in reverse. So remember that, okay? And then you end up like with some kind of disease. So um, safe sex is the best sex is what I can say, okay? Because somebody's panicking because of this STD. Is your brand new. You're starting something new and it's time to reflect okay so that you don't get stuck in this nonsense it's time to be happy it's time to be authentic to who you really are it's time to find home and home is internally so never mind what's going on with other people it's time to stay away from the nonsense because it's it's gross people are getting really bad advice and it's time to take the lead okay somebody's not single they're stuck in this group mentality and they're an undercover brother or sister which means that they don't care if it's a boy or a girl they sleep with they're just a pig and that's why they have the STDs they may be married to somebody who's in a polygamous relationship and you're gifted and you're telling on them because <laughs> it's time to grow people need to grow the fuck up Oh, and have no fucking sex because they're wondering why they ain't got shit and that's why okay know your power you are powerful 
if you're not having sex, you're going into the new world. Good. And it's not about being, um, like, not having sex, sex. Like, it's just not sharing your, like, if you're in a relationship, you know, that's different. But you're not with one person and then, you know, with another person. You're not having sex with one person, having an emotional relationship with another person. Like, you need to be honest. It doesn't matter if if you're having sex with them or, or sharing your energy with them. It's transmission the same. So keep your your company very close. Like, know who you share your energy with, okay? Because there's a lot of undercovers, which means, like, they're not telling the truth. And they're holding on to you and what you have because they're unstable and you're not having sex which means that you've got a lot of things coming in and they just want to party with you now it's okay to celebrate your your good deeds but it's time to follow your path okay like I said sex is very very healing but it has to be done right with the right person guys don't give it up freely somebody's getting burnt by the Sun because it's time to speak the truth I'm speaking the truth, you're speaking the truth, it's time to get upgraded and the only way you're going to get upgraded is fucking to start burning people with the truth, not with the CDs. <laughs> because yo, somebody acted in the moment and now is thinking, talking to the moon and breaking up with some kind of water sign because they feel foolish, okay? somebody is very depressed they fell they're depressed because the wheel is turning in your favor they're panicking they may miss your food so you may know this person I don't know but you're gifted so use your intuition to figure out this story for yourself okay and let me know at the bottom what's going on because somebody's blessed you're blessed I love you guys and you're enlightening yourself and the collective to get out of this okay because you know I hope, you know, and pray that whatever STDs people catch, they can get clear of it, you know, but whatever it is that happens or is being enlightened in the winter time about this husband or about this new person that's coming in, this king of cups, remember we got the husband and wife, right? So take it as it resonates, guys. This divine masculine gets the downloads just like you. So this person that's coming in, this King of Cups, who is like you, if it is a Two of Cups relationship that's coming in for you or, you know, because remember, it could just be you being balanced. But if it is a Divine Masculine coming in, they get the downloads just like you. So they're going to be just like you. So remember that. <laughs> they're going to love you for just you. And you don't have to pretend to be anything other than you. And you are good enough, guys. So at the heart of this deck, because you're helping a lot of people. And you're authentic. You don't care what anybody thinks of you. Spirit guides, let's get some more messages from the juice. Okay, you have integrity. You're enlightening the collective. And you're taking a new leap of faith. Brand new beginning. Now, I'm sure we've all taken brand new leaps of faith, but it's because we're the Hayoki empath. We're the sacred fool. You know what I mean? So we like to go into things, even if we know we're going to fail, because then we're going to learn what not to do later. So yeah, a little bit foolish, but at the end of the day, you learn how to help people with your experiences. Remember, your testimony is going to help a lot of people. And we've all been in this devil codependent energy, okay? Somebody is definitely obsessed with you. It's time to get out of this, okay? And this is what you're teaching. This is what you're hearing from me. It's time to really just bring justice to situations when it comes to these lower vibrational energies. The Libra. This Libra is doing way too much or the devil is doing too much. That's why there's double justice there. Or take it as it resonates, it could be a Libra Empress in reverse. It could be talking about the Empress. Always take it as it resonates. Check your birth charts for the signs. But somebody is definitely doing too much. And it's time to take a new leap of faith. Or that's why you said fuck this and took a new leap of faith towards another lover. It's time to be balanced, guys. It's all about choices, light or dark, whatever. There's no wrong choice, really. It's about the lessons, okay? But the Scorpio is about putting to death 
what no longer serves you and transforming this energy you have a right to know somebody is an earth angel you're an earth angel if you don't believe me my cards keep telling me okay they really tried to set you up but the ancestors are saying it's game over for that okay it's time for you to understand how beautifully protected you are and that's why the hexes are being backfired you're not seeing this wheel come in but you're on your life purpose and because you're on your life purpose people try to take you out could have been a cancer it's irrelevant okay the fact is is that cancer is the moon so there was a lot hidden about this fact it's jealousy it's envy it's it is what it is and that's why you can't see this nonsense coming in because somebody was a cheater so you walk the fuck away and now they need to stop with this toxicity that's why there was two stories in one okay because you moved on into something so fucking beautiful so i congratulate you because it's not easy okay but like i said our trials and tribulations are going to be allowed allow us to help others okay so be open speak your truth because it's going to help people remember each one teach one reach one okay so what i teach you you teach others and so on and so forth and i'm sure you have a lot to teach me because I don't know everything and that's what the beautiful thing about life is we get to learn every day so let's see what the ancestors have to say for us spirit guides because look this is just what takes you're on your life purpose and your life purpose is to help people it's to spread love not fucking hate in the stds <laughs> show me what's going on guys i'm just gonna let it pop point out okay and see what the ancestors gotta say at the bottom of the deck it's here it's time to dance with your fears guys a lot of people are fearful of the fact that you're on your life purpose or the fact that you're the spirit of love and the love they're given is toxic as fuck it's codependent it's binding they're doing sex magic that it's time to reflect on the energies you have around you even if you're not having sex with them like i said energy is contagious and that frustration that other people are feeling is gonna inevitably rub off, on, rub off on you. Now, somebody may be so frustrated because you're empowering people on your life purpose. And you have the courage to go through any of adversities with this empowerment, through the fears, to see the illusions for what they are. <laughs> and really give birth to a brand new thing you're the empress so you give life to things you're fertile you're the healer now it's time male or female it's irrelevant but it's time to start knowing you have the knowledge you have the knowing and you're with that knowledge you're birthing something new you're eliminating any illusions and you're going with courage to empower on your life purpose on a soul mission soul mission to help others through the frustrations they too can reflect in the fear of whatever's going on so that they don't hate on themselves and they can change whatever's going on and have the spirit of love the unconditional love for self because when you love self you don't want to hurt yourself or others put yourself in this situation and you most definitely don't want to try to take somebody out because you know inevitably somebody is very fucking protected okay because they're an earth angel and it's gonna come back 10 times and it's gonna hurt like like it's gonna hurt so you reflect you know that you don't want to do these things onto others so you don't <laughs> let's get some messages from the planet so somebody is stuck in the south no yo they're destined to release but they're stuck in the past of whatever they thought of you of, of of this maybe they're stuck in with friends from the past exes from the past who knows what this is but you got to get out of this comfort zone okay spirit show me what's going on with the planets because somebody is the sun it's about embodying the truth expressing yourself being authentic to who you are and shining light on anything being the reflection through the frustration of having that equilibrium that balance because Jupiter is all about growing and expanding guys we have to go through the trials and tribulations now this cancer card is fucking coming out twice okay now the cancer is born between June 21st and July 22nd if that helps okay 
but it could also just be talking about that moon or time to nurture and comfort and protection all right you need to be protected you need to feel protected guys anything else all right thank you because the fixed sign all right it's time to be it's time to have stability persistence patience and dependability it's time to be loyal to yourself and then inevitably you'll be loyal to others but yo somebody's going through hell and it's time to dream and transcend because you got the wheel of fortune it's not your problem i don't know like i said this energy is coming up in my readings only because of the fact that they're thinking about you maybe i have no idea it's 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 time to retreat from this okay it's time to disconnect from the world all right it's time to go inwards it's time to really trust the universal plan for you and pay attention to the red flags okay the signs are cautioning you this situation may be calling you to have faith it's time to disconnect from the world all right at the heart of the deck it says hard to heart conversation and let go of control issues it's time to let go guys <laughs> if you can't even control yourself what the fuck you expect anybody to control anybody else and by the way you can't you can't so allow the situation to unfold naturally guys honestly discuss your feelings with each other and one more time chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here remember you're calling in your soulmate so who you are is exactly who you're gonna call in remember that attraction you attract romance romantic love by enjoying the moment <laughs> stop and smell the roses guys time is not running out okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life yeah that that other crew is definitely got some addiction issues and that's definitely affecting their their life for sure but that's not you but uh it's all about growth guys this is why they're coming up in my readings and this is why it's talking about it because they're probably watching so it's about growth guys and yes we're helping a lot of people we've been there one way or another so we don't have a right to judge okay you're a phoenix rising so it is what it is it's time to attract beautiful things remember what you are is what you're gonna attract not all the time sometimes you attract what people need so use your discernment always okay really use your intuition your heart will know it's always that first instinct growth requires you to step out of your comfort zone get out of this fucking self mode of the past all right growing pains can help in gaining wisdom and experience the old must be left behind before growing into something new it's about the attitude of gratitude stop and smell the roses baby okay focus on the things that you have rather than the things that you don't or can't have guys envy is motherfucker gratitude is another form of prayer so practice daily appreciate everything and everyone and your subconscious wants to let you know that either you or others around you are wearing masks so you can't control anybody but yourself so be authentic okay because you'll be able to sleep at the end of the night because you know your value you know your worth you know that what your life path is and what your purpose is and it's not to be a pig or to hate on people or to try to block other people's blessings and to do bad dark magic and no it's to give your kids a better chance at life to give yourself a better chance at life ask yourself when and where am i feeling discouraged or undervalued do i want to be part of the in crowd and what ideal qualities would i like to adapt to okay be authentic Take the mask off, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, you're the fucking god or goddess. You're the god or goddess of your own life. You have this. Embrace the feminine. Whether you're a male or a female, it's irrelevant. It's time to fucking love yourself. Take that fucking self-love cup and start valuing your body. Be gentle. Create. nature, Nurturing yet strong. Do not let those that want to keep you small do not wait do not listen to those who want to keep you small embrace believe that you are just as important as the stars in the heavens a relationship is coming in remember we always get stuck with you know what we want really and we can't regret it because we chose it one way or another it's about free will right that's why a lot of us stay single for so long because we have free will when we choose something it's because we choose it we choose it for 
what we think is a lifetime. This is why it allows us to get our heart broken, right? But that doesn't mean we give up on love. It just means we wait for what is right. Again, <laughs> just the way it is, guys. It's about cycles. New relationships are coming your way. Reassess present relationships and leave behind those that do not support you. Be clear on what you are committing to, okay, guys? Because you're the fucking goddess or god. So, you, you have the options. You can choose. You can wait. It's about nurturing. You nurture yourself. You love yourself. You cherish yourself. And you're teaching this and helping other people to do the same. So take care of your needs first. Nurture, your nurturing will benefit others only if your needs are met first. So nurture the new in your life and watch it grow. Because you're the fucking leader of your own life. So do what you want. Manifest a beautiful life. Because remember what you're thinking is what's going to materialize, okay? You are no longer the supporting cast. You are not a leading man or woman. So take initiative and lead the way for others to follow. You will be judged by the company you keep and those who admire you. Energy vampires, they're all over the place. So be careful, okay? Because you're creative. You're creating something new with this leadership. Take a risk if you want to lead a, lead a creative life. Invite, in, invite creativity into your life and create something new for yourself and those around you. But you're going to have to use your intuition to do this. Look at the areas in your life that need decisive action and search your heart for the right answer. Listen to the messages that come from your intuition and follow it through. Because it's all about love, guys. You need to have love. Your relationship with yourself and others re needs reassessing. Open up to loving others by unblocking negativity and embrace love without fear. Make it unconditional because Gaia is watching. You are always being watched by the ancestors, by God, by Ra, by Sunkwai Dizu, whatever you believe in. Respect the beauty of your body as you respect Mother Nature. Remain connected with nature. You are being protected. If you protect yourself, you will get the protection on this journey. You will be able to be dropped out of a plane anywhere you go and take care of yourself. Why? Because you got this. Internally, you're balanced. Masculine and feminine, you're very intuitive. You're that king of cups, queen of cups. And, you know, because you're that internally, you get that externally inevitably. But you do wait for what you want because you're valuable. You're that leader. You're the goddess or god of your own life. So what you say, it, it matters. You stop, you smell the roses, and you're attracting exactly what you want. And you're waiting for it because you're the journeyer. It's a single journey, guys. Now, I'm born on the 29th of January. It's number 29. <laughs> so, it's exciting. Anyways, it says, do things in a, new, in a different way. Take a new route. Believe your life is part of one long, one long journey. Be prepared for adventure, all right? You're going on a new adventure, so be prepared, okay? Because the death and rebirth came out in my last reading, and it wants to come out yet again. So you're having a transformation. You transform that darkness into light, and you're going towards something completely different. On a new journey, probably all by yourself, but that's okay. You've done this before, and you'll do it again. And you're, it's about receiving, guys. <laughs> you're being receptive. You know, you've been a giver for so long, now it's time to receive the blessings, okay? What is already with you? You have to open up your arms to receive, okay? The ancestors are allowing you to receive beautiful things. You have that wheel of fortune in your favor. And it's because you're collaboratively dreaming with other people. We ha are all beautiful, beautiful people in this world. And we're connecting through all different vibrations, remember? So you will vibrate and meet those soul tribe members who are vibrating at your frequency. Every journey starts with a single step, but you have to be bold and go towards that step. The big bold vision, guys. You can do this. I believe in you. I really do. You can do this. So let's get some messages. I'm just going to pull randomly. So the grouse. Express yourself through rhythm, movement, drumming, and dancing. It's time for you to stop and smell the roses. Dance, to sing, to be enlightened, to be joyful. You know, understand that, you know, life is short, but it's not that fucking short. So be careful what the fuck you do with it, okay? Because the new world is here. It's happening. Keep holding your vision. And don't and forge. Don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. Yo, I don't fucking make it up. Come on. Show it. Anyways, I hope it shows. But it's 
time for you to forge your way. <laughs> you got this, guys. I believe in you. I'm so passionate about what I do. I'm so passionate about this because it's just about nurturing ourselves, taking the mask off and seeing how beautiful we are in the relationships that we're in that may not be so fucking beautiful. But we're an illusion because of the obsessions, because of the manipulation, because of the magic, the weasel. Because there's people being weasels, weaseling their way into our lives, and then little by little, we feel less sad. We are fearful, but now it's time to transmute that darkness into light. Go towards your life purpose and really show people that you can get the wheel all by yourself. <laughs> Be silent. Pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and around you. Forge. Don't follow. <laughs> Be that leader, baby. And let's get... Um, yeah, you're setting boundaries, a threshold of protection, and you're honoring yourself. And the ancestors are honoring you. You have this beautiful fucking lion behind you. And his, she's protecting you, that lioness or whatever. And it's the ancestors protecting you. This is why you're not really feeling the burdens of other people's codependencies. Because you're not codependent. You sleep well. You know that what's yours is inevitably going to come. You're restful. And you have the world. <laughs> Excuse me, my spiritual burps. <laughs> as above so below as light as you are as dark as you are you understand that everybody is so it's about balance equilibrium that 29 comes back out again guys it's cycles it's about destiny chance karma fate and setting the boundaries being silent taking the time to smell the roses let's get the last closing message from the saint francis oracle deck right got two of them okay so we have number 23 and number three so two three three so somebody want to comment on the description bar below in the comments and tell me what two three three is for you guys okay i love you and thank you guys for all the support and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to help grow the channel so i can come live with you and do some q a okay so number 23 surrendering to your magic you are the magician and the high priestess and somebody tried to fuck with you and now they're paying the consequences. But you're not paying attention because you're lit and you know what's up. So cheers to that, guys. You're out of this world with your healing because you're on your life purpose, all right? So let's turn that in and let's get this going. Okay, awareness and creating harmony. <laughs> this is the advice, guys. There is so much wisdom and psychic potential within you, but you're not listening to what your heart is telling you. You only have to tap in to awaken these primal senses. Your inability to trust your instincts is leading you down a path which feels uncertain. You are feeling frustrated as things do not seem to be working out in your favor, and quite understandably, you are feeling demoralized. You must learn to trust. Do not hide your potential. Bring it out to the world and shine your light. You will be amazed at how quickly life can turn around for the better when your heart and soul are in harmony. Like I said, that King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Heart and soul are in harmony. It's one person, guys. Soul mission. Life purpose. Okay? Now number three. So number 23 reduces down to a five, right? So it's about change, guys. You're bringing change with harmony. Now three, mind, body, and soul. You're bringing change and harmony with source because you work with source. You are guided, you are connected, you are protected, and you are lovable. So let's get that in, guys. Remember to do your affirmations every day, okay? Three, mirror in the candlelight. Let your light shine. Why do you not see the shining light within you as others do? What are you afraid of revealing which is stopping you from discovering your true potential? The time has come to remove the mask and show the world and to sh and sh uh, remove your mask and show the world your true self. You feel the need to protect yourself from emotional harm, but you have nothing to fear from stepping into the limelight as things can only change for the better. If you are feeling blocked with a little 
effort, you can push through the difficult periods in your life and conquer whatever is holding you back. You are on the break of change. You just need the encouragement and support to know you are headed in the right direction, guys. <laughs> the light ahead of you shines brightly and opportunities are calling. Don't allow fear of the unknown to stand in your way. So embrace challenges ahead. They will be the makings of you. Okay, so you're always going to have these lower vibrational envious energies in you. Oh, wow. That's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm going to read that too. It's number 28. And energies in your atmosphere. But you are who you are, so it's not going to affect you, okay? Because number 28 is there. And number 28 reduced down to a 10. So it's about endings, okay? The, the colorless duke. There are many distractions around you which are stopping you from focusing on what is important right now. You must take the time to concentrate on your needs in order to recognize where your energy should lie. Like I said, put yourself where you belong. There's two stories here, okay? There's a karmic and there's a your story. So put yourself where you belong, guys. I love you. In order to recognize where your energy should lie, you must first find time to quiet, meditate, and just recognize... Remove yourself from a busy situation. You have an air of charm and a positive energy around you. This is the time to be confident and reach for the stars. Reach for your star, okay? You are a star internally, so you have to reach inside. Connect with your own power and realize that your true potential. You do not have to hide your light as you have plenty to give. Get out of this colorless duke energy, okay? Set yourself a goal and do not allow yourself to be swayed from reaching the desired outcome. It's time to reach those goals, guys. It's time to, you know, raise the roof and set those boundaries and get that wheel of fortune. Forge. Don't follow, guys. Following ain't shit. Big, bold vision. Go after it. Let's get some Tasha T messages to close this reading for you beautiful guys. I hope it helped you. I hope it resonated. I hope it inspired you to do something better with yourselves or to teach others to do better with themselves, to go up and to never stop. When it goes up, it gets stuck. When it's up, it's stuck. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, but you might just have to light that bitch up yourself, guys. So remember your value. Remember your worth. Remember who you are, okay? Because the way I see it, is if you want a rainbow, you're going to have to put up with the rain, baby. Because there's a lot of spell work here. But luck is on your side. Just hold on tight, that Wheel of Fortune. Because the Gemini, people are wearing masks. They're two-faced. It says it all over this reading. And the last but not least, it says take a spiritual bath, okay? And rest from the day. It's time for you to rest at the bottom of the deck. You can't love another until you love yourself first. And that Queen of Cups is all about self-love. So it's time to take some rest, guys. Go put on a face mask. Go run you a tub, you know. Do what you gotta do. Take a nice hot shower. I don't know, get your girlfriend to rub your feet. Or, you know, rub your own damn feet. <laughs> I don't know, take it as it resonates, guys. I love you. Have a beautiful night. Remember, you're helping a lot of people, okay? Get out of this codependency. And this is why there's two stories here. Because that's what I do. So I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for participating, for liking. Don't forget to put that to, uh, what was it? It's 322 or? Anyways, yeah. So put that number. Let me know what it means to you. And uh, yeah, happy holidays. All that fun jazz. I love you guys and thank you for all the participation, like I said, and all the likes, comments, and subscriptions. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, okay guys?